G'day. What I want to show you today, I've come to an interesting site, which is once uh, one of the biggest factories raw producing plastics in, in Melbourne, in the West. This place was roaring back in the 50s, right through the late 90s. Used to employ thousands of workers, mostly immigrants that came from uh, Europe, you know, overseas, back in the 50s, looking for a job. So the west of Melbourne was producing, this place was, uh, like I said, it was, a, it's a, for now it's a formal site, it's been knocked down, but what's interesting is uh, the office, this was the office complex, which is uh, still, still standing, I presume it's probably uh, some sort of heritage building, it's all unused now, this property is probably set on about 150 acres, uh, you know, unfortunately closed down, plastic producing, like everything else, went to China. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to get inside and just, uh, just have a look, see what we can discover, see what we can find, uh, it's going to be interesting, all right. Oh yeah, place is open, it's unlocked. I think this was a storage warehouse. Hope they don't lock me in. Okay, here we are inside. Looks like this is the no, the old toilet blocks. Let's just go and have a look at that master point. Mm. We like discovering these old these old places. Used to be the offices, the offices of the uh, Monsanto factory. Big place. Must have been the reception here. Oh, look at this glass. Wow. This is all the uh, look at that workers would have worked back then in the office. Obviously before computers, so oh this is interesting. Look at that. There, there you go, that's what I want to show you. Look at that. This is how the place used to be. See that? Look how big this was. See the factory producing plant? There we are right there. Look at that. Look at that little building. That's where inside that. You can see how big this was. I showed you on the outside. So you can imagine how big the site was. I mean, they had a railway yard producing all the, like I said, raw plastics. That was what it was producing. So you can imagine how many thousand workers were here. Look at that. Boardroom table. Boardroom table still intact. The old working screen. Look at this place, this is just huge. Offices. Unbelievable, it's all abandoned now. Kitchen, it's smokers. The smoker, it's all abandoned. Glass door, careful, yeah. Look at it. Obviously all the offices. There's another nice, nice photo there. Look at that, they've taken it all down. Another one. Wow. Oh. Probably one of the manager's rooms. Yeah. The old communication telephone hub board. Back then it was Telecom Australia. No, now it's Telstra. Yeah, what is, I wonder if this is a received orders. Uh, repair three phase cable, tasks. Yeah, I know that. Electrical, that's my field. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Turn this into a nice apartment block. Fantastic. All right. Okay, I think I've seen enough. I better get out of here before someone comes and uh, sees me here and abuses me of stealing electrical cable. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. You can see. See here. Probably the main switchboard. 240 volts, and it gets dark in here. That's what they've done. They've come and ripped out all the electrical cable. Okay, well, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Oof. Back to fresh air. So, that was it. That's the back of it. This must have been another adjoining building. I don't know what it was.
it's all locked. What's in it? I can't see much. So, as I said earlier, this is a massive joint, massive place. Remember when I was a kid, I used to drive past here with my dad. They had a huge chimney flue, always burning a flame. I go, wow, this place is, must be. When you're small, everything looks big. It's like a city. Look at that, look at that. You know what that is? They stripped the cable, they stripped the copper cable and took it. Well, it's worth a lot now, copper cable. I wonder if we can get in this joint. I don't know what else, must have been some. Oh, here it's open. Beauty. Oh, beauty, little ripper. Let's see what's in here. It's electrical switchboard. <laughs> Not much of that left now. Wow. Need dirty canal clothes required to be removed. Cafeteria hard. Oh, so this was a cafeteria. Check it out. Mate, imagine how many pies and pastas this place sold back in the day. So this is a cafeteria. Look how big it is. Like the size of a reception hall. Just goes to show you how many workers are working here. It's all must be the server encounter. The old cafeteria. Check it out. I love this sort of stuff. Wow. Look at that. Look at the mills. How many mills they were cooking here? To have a canopy like that. Jeez. Oh, suck the bejesus out of you. That one there. Look at that. Mm, I can't even find anything here. Not even an old can of tuna. Oh. Bottle of sauce. Nothing. Which oh, is the alarm? <laughs> I even took that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's getting a bit dark here, what's that? <laughs> so, obviously, this is the other side of the uh, heights we're walking from. That's right. It's in here. Nothing. I cleaned the place out. Oh, it's been abandoned for 20 years, so nothing will last here. <laughs> the old heater. Oh, the old heater in there. Must have been another sitting room. The windows falling out. Well, these male change rooms. <laughs> there you have it. Well, as long as you've got a fluoro shirt, you, you can get in anywhere. That's my, that's my tip. All right, let me get back out to the fresh air again. Ooh, smells too. You know that mouldy smell? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and uh, plenty more to follow. All right, catch you later. See ya, mate.